or welcome to this little video on the extended trot showing you some of the test uh, technical aspects. Also read from the FBI manifest as well as like the rule book what the extended trot should be. The horse covers as much ground as possible. Without hurrying, the steps are lengthening to the utmost as a result of great impulsion from the hindquarters. The athlete allows the horse to lengthen the frame and to gain ground whilst controlling the fall. The forefeet should touch the ground on the spot towards which they are pointing. The movement of the fore and hind legs should be equally forward and in the moment of extension. The whole movement should be well balanced and the transition to collect the trot should be smoothly executed by taking weight, more weight on the hindquarters. A lot of talk, but it really explains how a good extended trot should look like. And when we look at this horse, you can see he shows a bunch of those uh, uh, mentioned aspects, lengthening, coming back, uh, especially when you see that in slow motion. <laughs> when we go to a picture of a horse showing an extended trot, look at the front end and the hind end. The front leg, left front, and the right hind they have the red dots and they show that those legs are perfectly parallel when you look at the cannon bones. And also the right front and the left hind do have those parallel lines. And they really show you that there is equality in how they, they move. Look at this horse where we have the red lines in that, you see the same thing. Clearly parallel uh, uh, angles of the left front and the right hind. And this picture of Dr. Klimke, Alerich, uh, one of our famous uh, horses from the past, shows that perfect uh, alignment of those hind and front legs. It also shows that this horse really has an uphill frame. It looks like he's running uphill, more or less. When we look at this horse, you can even see that the hind leg is more active than the front. And that, that line goes more forward than the front leg. Uh, and this is the opposite, where we see that the hind leg is not coming through and the front leg is really overstretching. Also, this leg would not land where it should point in at. Let's look at this horse and give it a mark. When we look at those alignments, I think we can all agree that they are quite parallel. So, and it's quite an extension. Uh, I would maybe even give this a 7 or even go close to an 8. When we look at this horse, you can see that the neck is a little bit short. That's behind the vertical. Uh, it still has those parallel lines, but the extended trot is clearly not as extravagant. And I would give this a 6 or a 7, so a 6.5. When we look at this horse, you can see nice angle uh, between the legs again, quite a big trot, uh, and the head up in the right position. So this would be easily an uh, 8. Now we're going to do a trick. We're going to put different spots on there, different uh, red dots and, blue and yellow dots. Look at the distance, the hind legs travel, and the front legs. You see that the hind legs really don't have that much reach as the front. So now suddenly what was like a 7 goes back to like a 5. And when we look at our second horse, it's even worse. The hind legs clearly have like half the stride length as the front legs, uh, partly because of the neck angle, and they should get like a 4, instead of the 6 that we gave it before. When we look at this horse, you see that's much more uh, comparable left of the front hand and the hind end, uh, and this should easily go into uh, like the 8 again that we had before, showing that uh, you look at a lot of things to go to your mark. And when we look at this horse, a cocktail with Enki van Grunfen, you see there's perfectly, completely the same distance between front and hind legs. This is like the perfect 9 or even the 10. And she got that in the International Dressage Arena. Uh, look at this horse in slow motion, really showing that uphill, large stride, and those parallel lines. Especially showing in slow motion, it's easier to watch that. Let's go to a couple of real-life FEI horses in the Grand Prix and look at their extended trot. Nicely forward, bigger stride clearly, and uh, nicely uphill. Uh, I would like to maybe see it a little bit more extravagant for a high mark. That would be a 7. And when we look at this horse, you can see there's a little bit more swung in the whole motion. Uh, there's more swing in the front legs. Still comes through from behind a uh, 7.5 or 8. And when we then look at this horse, you can really see the enormous reach in the front. Still nicely coming through, perfect frame. Really good and perfect transitions. For sure an 8 and maybe even an 8.5. Uh, and then we're going to look at this horse and you maybe already get the tendency. It gets better and better. When we look at this horse, this is really like an extended trot. Uh, more or less should look like. And we would easily give this like a 9 and maybe even higher. This was Anki's horse Salinero and he got 9s and 10s in the international scene. This is horse at a more local show. It's a Grand Prix horse. 
uh, but you can see it's striding is bigger but it also speeds up a little bit too much and it doesn't have that nice rhythm that we saw on those other horses so I would give this a six Let me look at this horse and you can see the front end really stretches the hind end doesn't come through uh, it's also not straight it's more flexed to the left uh, and then when we see the transition back to the collected trot, it's against the bridle this will be a 4 or maybe even a 3.5 and this horse is going to show again and extend the trot really covering ground getting bigger much more stride length and goes nearly slower than faster in the movement and comes back in a collected trot it should be more uphill for a mark higher than a 7 now we see a real champion this horse got 9s and 10s in the international scene and this will be again a 9 or 9.5 for an extended trot, so much balance. And for those who think like, wow, the hind end is not as active in the front, we also have that in slow motion. And what you can see in slow motion, when you really look at those parallel lines between the hind end and the front end, it shows it perfectly is. It's such an extravagant mover that when it goes in normal speed, it nearly looks like it's doing more in the front than in the hind end. But again, look back at the slow motion, and you can see they can be perfectly parallel. This is Beauvais uh, from uh, uh, Mrs. Salat, and she got nines and tens in the international scene a couple of weeks ago. Really uphill balance. Look at that. That's just just pure enjoyment when you see this. Really, really good. That's what we all try to achieve in an extended trot, and it's nice to see a little bit of that video material on it. You get a better idea what you really want to see. So when you go to a horse show. When you do your own training and you look in the mirror, this is where we should go for. And not just a fast running from one end to the other. I hope you enjoyed this little lecture. It's a lot of information. The good thing is you can watch it over and over again. It doesn't take that much time. Uh, and I hope to see you back soon for another course.